Carl, congratulations on your promotion to the senior EPS. What's it been like to be back in the fold after a short break? Yeah, obviously it's nice to uh, be back around here, you know, through the lads that was on tour as well, and you know, to meet a lot of the new guys as well, you know, that I've never met before. He's he's good as well, so it's nice to be back back involved with um, with the England setup. Yeah. Obviously, you're involved this summer, but. Does this feel like a separate achievement, almost like the coaches are giving you positive feedback about how you performed against the Pumas? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, it's always nice to um, get that that sort of feedback and you know it be be positive, which is which is a bonus. But also the the stuff in there that you know I can I can improve on and and I can work on and you know hopefully I, camps like this can you know help me out a little bit further and you know keep enhancing my my development. You spoke a lot about learning in South America. Yeah. Um, is it good to get that process continuing almost almost straight away as soon as you're back? Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, the tour in, to Argentina was was a good uh, learning process for me, and you know, I learned I learned a lot from it. And like you say, yeah, to, to be back in with the England setup so so quickly after the tour is great. You know, can um, carry on that learning as well with you know with the culture and like I say, different players as well. Mentioning those different players, obviously the three three other centres in, in the senior EPS all had some time with the Lions over yeah. over this summer. Is it a case of learning off them as well? Yeah, definitely. You know, all the all the players, you know, all the players that are in the setup and you know, and, and them guys as well. I, I, I'm open to learn off whoever I can, and you know, like I say, every little bit of information or whatever I can get is, is a bonus for me, and you know, I'll, I'll be looking to do that. When you made the switch from rugby league, did you think that involvement in the EPS had, had happened as quickly as it has? No, I didn't. to be honest, it wasn't something that I even thought of. To be honest, I, I came with a with a, you know a clean slate. You know, I had to start again, start from the bottom. You know, le- le- learning the game and you know and uh, earn the respect of my teammates at club level at Bath and you know and that, that's what that's what you look to do. With, you know, I never thought of anything to do with international or anything like that. It was all about Bath and, like I say, it's still the same now. Mm. On announcing the, the EPS selection, Stuart highlighted your attacking ability. Do you feel that's an area that sets you apart? I just think it's, it's an area, obviously, that, that, that has been natural in my game since I've been a, a, a young lad and, um, you know, in the positions that I played in, in league obviously helped me do that. And, like I say, if, if there is elements in there that I can bring to this team or this... This this setup then great. I know you take pride in your in your distribution, and we've seen how effective you can be with ball in hand. What are the areas you feel specific areas you want to improve this season going forward? Yeah, like I say, um, everything really. You know, the whole game, that that my overall game, everything. You know, this is a this is a new sport. You know that I, that, that I've been playing for one one season, and you know I'm never going to sit back and rest on you know anything. I want to I want to. I want to be a good all-round player in rugby union, and like I say, there's not one aspect of the game that I'm looking at. There's there's quite a few, you know, that that I want to become better at, and you know, like I say, I'm gonna gonna work as hard as I can to do that. You mentioned Bath. There's been some pretty exciting signings at the rec this season, not yeah. least Jonathan Joseph. Yeah. Um, what's the feeling being down in the West Country there, and are you looking forward to getting started with them? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, nice to be back. You know, with your club teammates and you know the new guys as well settling in nicely and you know they're all good players and like I say you know we're confident that we, we need to improve and we're, we're confident that we are going to and uh, we're really looking forward to, to the season yeah. Have you helped JJ settle in? JJ's alright mate he's um there's there's enough London Irish boys there you know for, for JJ to um to hang around with and settle in nicely with so yeah I'll let him do his own thing mate. Premiership form's obviously going to be important for you guys in the first first part of this season but yeah. how much of your two caps whetted your whetted your appetite for more involvement with England at senior level. Yeah, definitely. You know, if 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 you haven't got that inside, then you probably you probably wouldn't be playing. And like I say, it did whet my appetite, but also I know how important it is to to play for my club and and how important it is for me to improve and become a better player at my club. And like I say, if I do that, hopefully, and things might happen at international level, but. You know, I've got to be focused on Bath and playing well for them.